This is how to create a Wakelet account. So you go to wakelet.com. It's on the doc I shared with you. Click sign up. It's free. And then continue with Google. Choose your school Google account. It's going to ask you to create a username and a password. And then once you've done that, it'll say click get started. Um, this is not actually the, the, the Wakelet I'm using. I have one under my other Google account. Um, choose education as your what describes you. And then pick a few things that you're interested in. Might be science, maybe it's traveling. Choose a few things. This is just going to give you um, some options. And then once you get to this screen, you click create a new collection. Title your collection with the topic for your genius project, whatever your topic is, and write a description. You can edit that later. And then to add content, it's really easy. All you do is click the plus, and let's say you have a YouTube video that you want to use. I'll put in this genius project YouTube video. You just click YouTube, you put in the URL, and it will come right up, add, and it will now show up on your list of wakelets. If you wanna rearrange things, you can reorder them and move things around. It doesn't matter right now because I only have one thing on there. Um, it'll allow you to add um, a text box, any website link, just paste the URL. Um, you can add tweets. I don't know if you guys are on Twitter, but I am. I add tweets to mine frequently. Um, you can bookmark things here. You can add pictures. You can put a PDF. You can add stuff from your Google Drive. For example, you might want to add the doc that, um, that you're working on right now. You could add that to the Wakelet as well. Always tell it to allow. And then I'm going to add the document that I'm still typing so it isn't finished, um, that I gave you for this week's work. Um, so you can add really just about anything that you want to add. You can even put your Flipgrid videos in here if you wanted to. So this is a really easy way for you to organize your research and not lose stuff. Because what happens is when you're researching, you'll be reading something and then all of a sudden you'll realize, uh, I forgot what website that was and I closed my browser tab and now I can't find it. So Wakelet will store everything for you. And at some point I will have you share that. Um, uh, you'll choose unlisted and then you'll give me the link um, and the other people in your small learning group the link and other people who are working on a similar topic as you might also want the link. Um, so anyone who has the link can see it when it's unlisted. Okay, so that is pretty much how you use Wakelet, do hit save and exit. It does not save things automatically. So if you make a bunch of changes, um, then you will not have your stuff if you don't hit save. And then when you're back in here, if you want to add more stuff, you just click edit collection. So that's a little bit about how you use Wakelet, a great free tool.